Hey, what's up guys? It's Stab, and it's the curse of my Minecraft videos. We're doing something different. Um, I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos, and I came across a guy named CNB Minecraft. There'll be a, like an annotation on the screen right now. Go and check out this dude's channel. He's like a redstone genius. I and mean, there's a lot of people who do a lot of redstone videos. And um, I got a couple good ideas from him on what I want to do in my Let's Play world. Uh, my little whatever, but I wanted to learn how to build them first. So here's my three by three door. It's completely three, like three blocks. You, it doesn't uh, have a hole in the middle like some do, like the spiral door. Although the spiral door does close pretty well. Um, you could essentially do that with a series of repeaters, but I like doing this one. I like the three. The, the just quick, quick and easy, and it opens up. And obviously, this is all covered up you know you don't see any of the redstone sticking out because you can just you know build out a bit and come out but that that is the prototype it is super compact super compact i think it's like seven by three by whatever something or three by seven by three or something i don't even remember but it's like majorly compact it's ridiculous how awesome this guy is at doing that stuff so once again go check it out this is where i got all my tutorials from um and then he uh he has a bunch of different tutorials that aren't really like this specific one i had to do a lot of troubleshooting for this one and i i actually messed it up quite a bit here um i didn't realize that i needed to go out one more but whatever um so yeah and he also in his version he has a block coming off of here off this torch or whatever let me put it down and it uh he has redstone coming off and it's lit and he uh I don't have a piston anymore, damn it. So we need to find a piston. Basically he just has it like that. But with the with the nine digit keypad that he's got going on with his, um, all you need to do is find out the last digit for it to work. So I racked my brain in trying to figure out how in order to get that piston to work but needing the actual code. And I quite messed up on it and I'm sure there's a way to fix it but right now my code is 291 for this, so basically hit the 3 button to shut it all off. Um, and these are just a series of AND gates that you need in order to have... Basically what you need is, you need all 6 of these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all 6 of them to become active in order to do this one source. But, like I said, all you need to do is hit the last one to light it up and... In a regular chain, if you would just connect all these to, into one thing, you would need just to hit the number one pad to activate the piston. So in order to do that, I needed to do a series of AND gates. And I'm sure this isn't the most compact feature, and I did this all on my own. I didn't look up any tutorials for this part. I wanted to rack my brain and actually try to wrap my head around the idea of redstone and how it works. And so I think I figured it out. Um, I, I will do a tutorial for this. I, I'm gonna completely give cnb his props on this because he is the guy who taught me how to do this whole decoding thing and everything and it's just i, I couldn't have even started this without him so i just wanted to i mean he's a big commentator he's got like eighty thousand subscribers or something like that i don't remember but he definitely don't need doesn't need my help but i don't want somebody to see my video and go you totally didn't give him any props for it um you're a douchebag so, especially with the whole raw instinct thing, that I definitely don't want that happening to me. Not that I have 250,000 subscribers to just lose. So right now, the code is the code is actually my birthday, and uh, it's 2991. All right, so 291991. But the way I have it set up over here, and I can fix that. I just don't. I need to like actually bust out and bust out some torches and shit for that to work and put some stops. But for right now, the the basic purposes code is two, uh, nine one. So you you enter the two. This turns this this redstone off, which powers this torch, which powers this repeater, which powers this redstone, going into the first part of our first AND gate. And then you come down here and you hit nine, and that turns on the second one. And then it powers up to the the, the second AND gate, and the first uh, the first torch there. So you need that. Uh, but it also turns off this torch and this torch because they're both nines nine nine one so in order to fix that you gotta either change your combination to where there's no double digits like that to where none of them work like that you gotta do like one two three four five six seventy nine but you cannot have any repeating 
numbers, or you have to change something up in here that I don't know quite yet. Uh, but for now, the only button left to push is the number one. But say we went, oh god, and I pushed the three. Well, it reset the whole circuit. It, it's complete reset. That's what this is all about. The reset is up here. Um, so what it does is it sends a uh, down the torches. It down these and these torches light up these blocks or these redstones up here, and they turn off this. They turn this back on, which turns this off. Which it's crazy. It's just. It's very complicated, and I hope you guys understand it, because I sure as hell am just now learning it. Um, but any, anyway, 2, 9, 1 is the code for now. And that will open up the piston. Because, like I said, you can't just come over here. Hang on. Let me hit this one. You can't just come over here and go, well, I know the last code is a 1, because it won't do anything. It won't turn on that. It won't activate the last AND gate. Um, so I, I guess... Essentially, you could possibly just type 91 and that would work. Let's see. I doubt it, but we'll see. So hit 3 to reset and then 91. Ah, it won't work. You need the 2 because the only one to turn on. So I actually did a pretty damn good job. And I'm sure you can compact it a lot more than what I did. Um, but this is my first ever sort of nine digit keypad thing I ever built so it's not this is all compact as hell you can't I don't think you can get any smaller than this this is actually one of the smallest I've ever seen on YouTube and I don't really think you can get any smaller than that um but let's let's give it a little spin this minute this video is going a lot longer it's going on about seven minutes now around about so we're gonna give this a little spin and what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually have it power my three by three door Give it a repeater so that the power propagates to this a little bit farther. Actually, put a repeater here. Fail. And then come over here. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, just boom. So, ooh, it's getting, getting me nighttime. So, we hit the three to reset. My door is, right now it's closed. So, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to, or we're going to, it's open. We're going to, we're going to close it. Two. Nine, one, and that should eventually. Yep, works just like that, guys. I, I know his tutorial C and B's tutorials have quite. He's got two of them, and you have to watch them both in order to build this the right way. Because when he does the nine gate or the nine digit, it's a lot different than his four digit one that you have to watch first, in which he talks about how to build all of this. Um, but I figured it out. Well, somebody else probably figured it out as well, but. I figured it out by myself. I didn't have to use a tutorial for this AND gates. Um, it actually kind of only took me five minutes to think of this. But I got it to work, and I'm extremely happy with myself. And I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, I will catch you all later. Thank you for watching. You guys have been awesome. Peace.